there. I guess it's been a little while. Um, took a little break since we had a bit of a heat wave and the all the smoke from the fires, but it's nice out now, so I'm back. I'd rather film out here in the summertime anyway. I just think it's so nice. I really enjoy sitting on the dock anyway, so I'll get you to experience that with me. But I did promise you I'd tell you about the baby shower I had, which was a while ago now, I guess like a month. Um, I mean, it was pretty well the average baby shower, but I guess I can't even get into it. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, so to start off with, I never really wanted a baby shower. It's not that I'm not grateful I had one, because it, it was very nice of my mother-in-law and grandmother-in-law to throw it for me. Um, the reason I didn't really want one is because I don't live near any of my family and I mean I have friends here but a lot of my friends are further away too. I mean I used to live in Toronto and then even my hometown's pretty far away. So it was more just I don't know I didn't want to be an inconvenience to people or invite somebody that lives like five hours away knowing they won't actually come because it's so far away and I mean some people would drive that some people won't everyone's different I'm not gonna like force somebody to come you know and then some will be like my friend Linda as you see often mails gifts when she knows she can't make it she has such a busy schedule so that's her way of being a part of things which super grateful for Linda just I've always been grateful for Linda <laughs> but yeah so they threw me the party I didn't really want it a part of that was like I said just the guest list really and then um I actually been to a baby shower where it was a surprise for the mother and I was like I was like thinking like that that would be ideal if I was going to have one. Like, I don't know anything. I just, like, you know, come home one day and it's happening. But that's a lot harder because, like I said, my family doesn't live here. Any of my family. Even more distant relatives. Just not just me here. <laughs> so anyone throwing it, if they're here, don't know my family. Might know my friends. Whereas if my family's throwing it for me, they obviously know my family, but they don't know my friends here. They would know more my friends, like, back home. So it would be a lot harder to do. <coughs> Too bad. That that surprise baby shower I went to was a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> so that would have been, that would have been cool. Um, we had, well, there was planning to be about 50 people... Some didn't make it because the smoke that day was really bad and they were driving from a little bit further away. Also, I hear there was a funeral on the, I think it was the Friday, and then my baby shower was on the Sunday, so some people couldn't make it. Uh, there was many elderly people, so if they were getting a ride from wherever they were, they couldn't get a ride for both days. Which, I mean go to the funeral before you come to my shower i absolutely understand that a lot of the people didn't really know me either um it was mostly jr's family but his older relatives um his grandmother is from a quite a large family so it was a lot of her siblings or cousins or that kind of thing aunts uncles um was quite a full house though I had some of my friends come as well um the downside is my family didn't really come uh, my mom did and my sister-in-law my brother's lady um my, my mom did help plan the shower too since they were throwing me one uh she actually wanted to throw me one in the first place but I said no since she doesn't live here it's a lot harder and Honestly, it'd be stressful for both of us. She's had health issues in the past and I, I, I don't want her to have unnecessary stress and I don't want to be stressed. 
So I said no, and she respected that, but then since they were throwing me one anyway, she joined in to help the best she could, still being far away, but she, she did a good job. Um, so yeah, that was really the only family I had was my mom and sister-in-law, who I, I love both of them dearly. Um, I didn't met my cousin, but her ride bailed on her the last minute. And it's unfortunate because, um, I guess my mom and her are feuding because I, like, she could have gotten a ride. My sister-in-law drives through where she lives. And then from there, my mom and her carpooled. So I feel like they could have all carpooled, but since they're feuding, didn't happen. That's unfortunate. Um, I haven't seen my cousin in a while. We talk a lot, but just the distance. I haven't seen her in a long time, probably since my grandma's funeral, to be honest. Just a few years ago now. Um, I do wish since my mom was helping plan it, she invited more of my family. Like her siblings, she's from a big family too. Um, my one aunt did send me a gift though, so I, I'd feel bad her already sending me a gift and then inviting her, because it's like I, I don't want her to keep buying me gifts. I would love to see her and spend time with her, but I don't, I don't need all the gifts. Uh, my other aunt, I don't know if my mom's feuding with her too. They do off and on, but you know, sister dynamics. My mom's the oldest, the aunt's the youngest, so sometimes they clash. I get it. Um, I haven't seen them in a while either though. And then my cousins are scattered pretty far. Uh, actually, on my dad's side of the family, I haven't seen those cousins or talked to those cousins in years. So I'm not even sure how they're doing. I don't think my mom would know how to contact them either. My dad might, but hard to say. <laughs> um, I know he talks to his sister, but I don't know about the girls. Uh, fun fact, that side of the family, my brother's actually the only boy. <laughs> but it's it's a lot smaller on that side of the family, just a couple of us kids. Um, it was a lot of fun, though. It was <laughs> around some birthdays as well. So it was the, the baby shower, and then we sang happy birthday to the one gal whose birthday it was, I think, the next day. I such a bad memory for that but I'm pretty sure it was either the next day or the day previous so she got her own little mini cake and we sang happy birthday to her like it was cute it was cute it was a lot of fun um it was super smoky though so we couldn't do anything outside so we all were packed into the house but it was nice uh both uh men and women came to it so it was more Diverse it actually felt more like a family reunion than a baby shower just since a lot of them had been uh, Had a lot of them hadn't seen each other in a long time Which that was really nice it made it like a more family feel which Since I don't see my family a lot. I appreciate that uh, It's actually one of the things I like about JR. He, he sees his family a lot. They actually came over for dinner last night and it was his mom and grandma anyway, so it was fun. Um, but yeah, lots of advice from my friends and family. Lots of gifts. <laughs> so I think we're, we're all good for all the baby stuff now, which is great because it's uh, under a month now. Which I guess you guys wanted a belly update? I don't know. Um, people vary between telling me I'm really big and not big at all but no belly button I've got the line down the middle I don't know if you can see that from here I don't have any stretch marks yet my uh old piercing hole looks kind of silly <laughs> but it's actually a fun story behind the the old belly button piercing maybe I'll tell you guys a little story time about it eventually it's actually a longer story than I than I think uh, most belly button piercings are, but yeah, I'll, I'll explain it to you guys sometime. Um, but yeah, I, I work with like a hundred people, so I get like I'll walk past ten people and 
half will say I'm huge, half will say I'm so small, but you know, everybody carries differently and I feel like I'm, I'm a small person in general, so the people that they're saying I'm huge is because it looks different for me. <laughs> um, it's also weird because I haven't really had pregnancy symptoms uh, during the heat wave. I think my feet were swollen for a week-ish, but now they're back to normal. Um, I haven't had any morning sicknesses, pains, I sleep fine. Um, sleep like I've always slept, really, which I've always been a great sleeper. So the only thing is really just I got this belly and sometimes I forget about it because it doesn't like pain me or anything. Um, I don't really wear <laughs> maternity clothes like these pants. They are low riders, so I've just kept wearing them. I think I ordered one size up in my work uniform just because of how it buttons. Um, I mean, I do have maternity clothes. I do wear some, but with this shirt I've had for, I think like 15 years, an old coworker bought it for me when I lived in Toronto because she had the same one and I, I told her I liked it. She came back the next day and had bought me one in a, mine in purple, hers was in gray. <laughs> oh, she was such a sweetheart, I miss her. But yeah. Yeah, the baby shower was fun. I thought we would have more kids though, but I guess, again, some people did have to cancel, so we ended up only having one kid there. I think she <laughs> was bored during the presents so we had her, once I unwrapped the present, she would take it from me and put it in the nursery <laughs> to give her something to do. So I, I hope that helped her. Uh, awkward being the only kid there, right? I mean, the next age up would have been teenagers. So for her to be young and then, I mean, not alone, obviously her parents were there, but still it's, it's less fun, especially when you don't know many people. I mean, she knows me, <laughs> but that's about it. I actually don't think she ever met JR. Oh no, a couple times when she was younger, but yeah. So it was really nice to see some friends I hadn't seen in a while either. So that, that was good. But yeah, I think the only thing is I wish more of my family was there to experience it with me, but I like my family is not really that close. Um, I mean, I do talk to my sister-in-law most days and my mom most days and they were there. Bug just blew into my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good time. It was just, it felt weird not knowing everyone because, I mean, a lot of them hadn't seen each other in a while, so they definitely hadn't seen me, but it, it was fun to introduce people. Um, since I didn't know a lot of people, when I'd be reading the card, it would be like, oh, and it's from, I don't know. So I would get uh, JR's mom to point out who said what, what card was with who, so I could properly thank them. <laughs> so that was a little awkward anyway. <laughs> but it was a fun day. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't come outside with all the smoke, though, because that was, that was a lot of smoke. <laughs> But yeah, now we can come back outside. The party was a success. Good seeing everyone. I mean, not not much happened that was like scandalous or anything. So, so that's good. Yeah. Um, I think the furthest family that came was from Quebec. So that was it. Was great that they came. Uh, they usually visit. I think once in the summer and once in the winter, so it was nice that they spent their visit on me. <laughs> so it was good to see them. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad JR has such a big family since mine, I mean, mine's average size, I guess, but just since I don't see them, it's nice to be part of a family, or joining part of a family, I guess, where they connect more. But yeah, that that's basically it, I mean, I think we all had a good time. I didn't get too many doubles of any gifts, which is helpful. Um, I am part of a swap group though, so any doubles I did get, it was given to someone that will use it. 
and a lot of people were knitters so I got some like nice knit hats and mitts and little sweaters so that's very helpful but yeah it was a great party good to see those that did make it um, like I said it was supposed to be about 50 people um, so we did have a lot of leftover cake of all things so I ended up bringing it to work a couple days later and handed it out so uh, I guess my co-workers love me bringing cake but <laughs> I just don't think we would have eaten at all before it went bad or before we got sick of it being that much cake. But it was good. And people appreciated it. Wrote out a bunch of thank you cards, but since I didn't know everyone beforehand, I definitely don't have their addresses. So um, thanks to Grandma for getting those out to me to everyone <laughs> besides my friends. Uh, I sent some to my sister-in-law too, but I actually don't know if she got it or not. She never said. I should ask. Hmm. I didn't send one to my mom, however. I probably should, but she was on vacation after. So, she would not have been there to receive it. But I know she'd appreciate one. She loves cards. But yeah, that's it. That's the story of the baby shower. I mean, not... Too much happened out of the ordinary. We didn't really do games. Um, that many people, we were all pretty distracted. Uh, there was kind of like a draw. If there was a number under your plate, you want a gift card to, um, I think there was three different gift cards. I don't know all of them. I think Tim's and stuff like that. But yeah, that was it for the games. <laughs> Not that that's a real game. I don't think it was announced properly either because it was just like an afterthought like oh yeah check your play <laughs> anyway it was fun it was a long day um you know peopling too much at once <laughs> but i am thankful that it was thrown for me uh even if i didn't really want one in the first place um and JR did try to make it the least stressful for me. He would be the ones communicating with his family about what I wanted. All I really had to do was invite my own friends, which was helpful. So, yeah, hats off to him for helping me not be stressed, because I know, I know that kind of stuff does make him stressed too, so I really appreciate him. But yeah, that's about it. So we'll see you next time. I love you guys. Bye.